Hey. Hello. <laughs> and Shane, I don't know how things going. Uh, I'm good. A little bit. I, I just woke up. It's so early in Japan. 5 a.m. Man, wouldn't you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep well? Uh, I, I'm sleep well. Yeah, I see. So, what's the past of sleep? Do you remember? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I, I didn't. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, no, sleep. The past is slept, right? And oh. then, yeah, and participle is also slept. You want to say I slept well? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know how to do my 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 sleep. Always, it's very. Deep. Oh, really? Well, that's good. Yeah. Just give me five minutes. I will sleep very deep. Wow, well, that's well, <laughs> yeah. that's great. Did you? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you had any military service. Did you? Were you in the military at all in China or no? No. No, because it, mm -hmm. often you know that kind of service, you learn how to sleep quickly. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's quickly. Um, There's no pressure. If I have pressure, I, I maybe I can sleep. Uh, no yeah. pressure. So anything is good. So my I always my my deep always is deep. Well, so tell me what uh, how has uh, life been? I, I talked to you two weeks ago. So anything interesting happening? Well, nothing. No, nothing. Uh, nothing happening to me. I just nope. working in this study. No go okay. outside with my friend. <laughs> yeah, but what, you never go out, or or just sometimes. Yeah, this year I decided that no go, uh, no hang out with my friend. Just only study yeah. and the work. Oh, really? The whole yeah. year? That, that's your the intention. Whole, yeah, the whole year. Yeah, I work at, in Chinese restaurant in Japan, and uh, I ha I have one day day mm -hmm. off, right. one week, one day off. There's mm. so. It's a little boring when I was learning language, but uh -huh. I should continue to do that because I don't have a lot of time to learning language. So I sure. also work early and uh, learning language is a long time. Because I didn't, are, are, because... are you still at the restaurant? Are you still working there? Yeah, I, I yeah. work at Chinese restaurant. And, and Can... what do you do there? I'm manager. Your manager, okay, great. Mm -hmm. So, do you, uh, is it a small place, a big place? Do you manage everything, like a general manager, or do you uh, manage small, small, small places, but uh, they have a delivery, delivery, delivery mm -hmm. service. So you should do that. Okay, okay, good. Mm -hmm. And and what about the food? Is it this restaurant? Is it Chinese owned? Like, oh, there lot, it... yeah, there are a lot of food, but uh, the, the Japanese Japanese style. Chinese oh, Japanese style Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. I grew up, I grew up with American style Chinese food. So I, I'm it's, I'm sure it's nothing like real Chinese food. One or two it's, things maybe, but uh, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I think I remember. It's, it's not it's not my things. Yeah, it's no. just Japanese style is always the sweet. The food always yeah, sweet. It, yeah, the yeah. American style too. It's, it's it's a lot sweeter for sure than what what uh, you're used to for sure. The yeah. you know you know what though I think. Japanese people probably have a much better idea of real, authentic Chinese food than Americans. Americans don't have any idea. Oh, really? You know, so, yeah, it's funny because I, I think probably what happened was when when it's the same thing happened with Italians. When when Italians arrived in the United States and they decided mm -hmm. to make restaurants, then the Americans liked very specific dishes and and very specific styles, right? and everything a little bit stereotypical i think with with china it's this or with chinese people it's the same thing the the food the american chinese food is is probably a character like a characterization of certain dishes from china you know but not the real thing and definitely a lot sweeter for sure yeah for so, sure mm -hmm. yeah i i you know i remember there was a there's a uh a famous chef in the united states he's, he's dead now he he uh died Three or four years ago committed suicide actually this guy he was very famous anthony bourdain mm -hmm. he used to travel around uh, around the world going to many different countries and experiencing the food learning how to cook mm. do you know food. in america there are like panda panda like panda panda you know, they have a, de a delivery something i've heard of this yeah i heard something well, about maybe like this. i know maybe it's panda because my i, I my, heard something my, about that I, i've never tried it though i don't i have no idea 
but I, I know I've heard the name before. Yeah, I don't know why Panda Express it's called. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I know that. I I don't know why. Like I'm not from the United States. No, I've, never, I've never had. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. never had Panda Express. I don't know why I know that. Maybe from TV or movies <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, but so that kind of that kind of food here in in Brazil they have China box in in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in uh, Sao Paulo. So it's like uh, they're like food in boxes, and but I don't think it's very authentic. I think it again, it's an Americanized version oh, yeah. of, of Chinese food. You know, so this Anthony Bourdain, he went with a, a, a chef from the chef is from Hong Kong, I think, and mm -hmm. they went to a Chinese restaurant in in New York City. Yeah, right? and so a very popular Chinese restaurant, and they went in and they sat down, and and Bourdain said, "Okay, well, this this menu looks good," and and then the Chinese guy he called over the owner and he says, "I want the other menu." He said he said it in in Mandarin, but he says, "I, I want the re I want the real menu." Yeah, right? and so the guy came over. Yeah, and so the guy came over. He had a piece of paper, right? I would do like three yeah. or four things, and then he, he orders, and Bourdain's like, "What was that?" He says, no, Chinese people don't eat this. Chinese people yeah. eat real food. And yeah, well, then, was, it, man, it was funny. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I go to another Chinese restaurant, I always say, to give me a Chinese, Chinese taste. No Japanese really? taste. Yeah. Ah, I think Chinese taste, not the Japanese taste. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Ja Japanese taste is it's not like, I, I don't like it. I, I don't like that. So, so what what is the Chinese taste then? The Chinese taste would be less, spicy. less sweet, yeah, it's spicier. It's spicy. That's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. You sure you can get into the spicy. I love food right. that are spicy. And Japanese people they don't like spicy food at all. Is that right? Oh, like just yeah, wasabi. They, they, just, they like they like sweet. I was sweet. Yeah. This menu I was sweet. So I, I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> Well, I prefer that. I prefer the spicy too. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But I've. But again, I I haven't really. I, I can't say that I've tried authentic Chinese food. Maybe I have a I have a friend who's a chef, and he lived in China for six or seven years. So mm -hmm. when when he came to Canada, this is man, this is like almost thirty years ago. It's got to be twenty six, twenty seven years ago. Mm -hmm. He he went back to Canada, and he had an idea for opening a, a restaurant. He, and he wanted me to partner with him. He wanted me to run the. Mm -hmm. He wanted to run the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And he wanted me to run the front of the house, and we'd be we'd be the partners. And then he had a a third partner who has money, yeah. Right? So yeah, so we had a we had a meeting, and we, we were thinking about doing this. But his mm -hmm. his idea was very authentic, China bowl, mm -hmm. like have, you know, yeah. And and when he was proposing the food, mm -hmm. the guy would 